Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to go back. Now, if you downloaded this and you upgraded your Mac to this version, you wanna go back to Mavericks for so many reasons. Um, things are not working, compatible, whatever. Um, we're just gonna do it right now. So, you basically will have to restart your Mac. Just in case, sorry about the shakiness with the video. It's just, uh, I don't have my tripod today. And, uh, this is the only way I could do it right now. Anyway, so just go and restart your Mac. And we're actually gonna go into recovery mode. Okay, so that's Command R. It's restarting, you have to press Command R. Okay, on your keyboard. So press Command R. So your screen should be something like that right now. We're gonna press that till we see the Apple logo. And then we're just gonna let it go. Just in case before doing any of anything right now, you should have all your backups done, okay? So back up your whole stuff, information that you want. Um, and hopefully you did Time Machine with Mavrix before you update it, okay? So if you have Time Machine, you can recover everything anyways. Um, so that's the way we're gonna do it today. Okay guys, so at this point we could choose either or. We can restore from Time Machine backup or you can just reinstall OX. Okay, this is what you're supposed to see after a while. Um, we are just gonna try attempt to do time machine, and then maybe we'll do the OX and then time machine again. So we could just gonna do that. Click on continue. Okay, so it'll give you a warning and whatnot. So it's gonna do that. Now, my time machine, okay, um, it's done from Mavrix, okay, so it is back in Mavrix, so there's nothing else here but Mavrix, so it should go back there. So I can pick the latest one, which was this one right here, so that's my last backup, okay. You can also look for other ones, but obviously that's the best one, so we're just gonna do that, continue on there. Now we do have to pick a destination, so you do want your Macintosh HD, which is your main one. We're gonna click on restore. Gonna click on continue. And it should say restoring. So I'm not gonna leave you guys on here for half an hour. Um, this, just in case I'm doing my backup, my time machine backup from this little guy right here. It's a passport, so I connect it up to my Mac. Okay, this will work if you have an iMac or a MacBook Pro or a Mac Air. It pretty much works with any Mac, actually. It's the same system, so it'll work. It will take pretty much forever, so I'm gonna go back to this video once this is done. Right now, it's at 0.3 percent. In case, guys, just in case, this will take you around two hours. Okay, so just uh, be prepared for that. So after a little bit, I mean two hours, you will get this message, okay? Just have to wait pretty much till it gives you an option to continue. It will restart by itself. Okay guys, so once you put continue or not, it continues by itself um, and it will go back basically to your own thing, um, back in Matrix. So uh, just to show you, um, you will have to put your iCloud information again, okay? And there you go. Back to Matrix. So as you can see, it's no problem going back to Matrix. If you guys are having any issues with it, or want to know another way to go into it besides Time Machine, you can write down here below on the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. And once again, any questions, comments that you have down here below in the comments area, you can ask whatever you want. And we will try to help you out. Um, besides that, I mean, you can see it's Mavrix, the spotlight's different, everything's different with Mavrix. Well, not everything. It's a few things different with Mavrix. But uh, everything should be back in working order anyways. Uh, that's it for this video. Once again, any problems, questions, leave them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.